We're halfway through the incredible year of 2022, and there's been so many games that have come out. Month after month for the last six months, there has been banger games every single month, and this month looks to be no different. In this video, we're looking at some of the biggest games coming out in June of 2022. Coming up super early in the month is a very special game, and no, it isn't a console game. It's actually a mobile game. The game is called Diablo Immortal. A free to play MMO based off the iconic PC game Diablo, Immortal is set five years after the events of Diablo 2, but prior to Diablo 3. Players begin their adventures in the town of Wartham. Aspect of the game's plot focuses on conflict between the Immortals. The fast-paced, arcade-like Immortal has many gameplay similarities to Diablo 3. Many of the game's activities are designed to be small in size, but the activities will average between 10 to 15 minutes in length with some shorter activities lasting about one to five minutes. Players can create one or more characters within the game. The character classes are Barbarian, Wizard, Monk, Necromacer, Demon Hunter, and Crusader. When you defeat levels, you'll get loot items from treasure chests, but some loot items are specific to certain enemies. Diablo Immortal is set to release on iOS and Android on June 2nd. On June 10th, one of the biggest games of the year is set to release. Honestly, this has my pick for my favorite game of the month coming out, but it's Mario Strikers Battle League. The 5v5 soccer game featuring all your favorite Mario superstars is set to come out on the Nintendo Switch. It is the third entry in the series and the first new entry in almost 15 years following a lengthy gap in releases after Super Mario Strikers and Mario Strikers Charge. The game shies away from realism in favor of chaotic, over-the-top gameplay. The game maintains the main premise of the sport where players maneuver players across the field in efforts to pass and shoot a ball into a goal to score points. When the team with the most points at the end and obviously winning the game. Aggressive tackles and attacks are completely allowed, though they give the opposing player items to use at their disposal. There are no out of bounds, instead an electric fence is placed around the field which players can check and knock opposing characters into. To A players can play local multiplayer matches with players using just one Joy-Con each. This can also allow 4v4 game with computer handling goalkeeping. This also allows 4v4 with computer handling goalkeeping. Online multiplayer is also available, including a club mode where groups of up to 20 players can create their own game season with tracking leaderboard scores. I honestly cannot wait till this drops. Super Mario Strikers is one of my favorite games of all time on the GameCube, so I'm super nostalgic for this game. Make sure to pick this game up on Nintendo Switch on June 10th. Coming out on the same day, we have a brand new horror survivor game. Developed by Supermassive Games and published by 2K Games, we have The Query, a survival horror interactive video game played from the third person perspective. Query is heavily inspired by teen slasher and creative movies and adheres to established horror movie tropes more firmly than the Dark Pictures anthology, Supermassive's other horror franchise. In the game, the player assumes control of nine different teenagers who must survive a night at the Hatchet's Quarry. Players must make different decisions which can change the character's development, the plot, and the relationship between different characters. All nine playable characters may die at the end of the game and each character potentially has 10 to 12 different ways to die. Supermassive expected the game to last for about 10 hours, though early deaths of certain characters may cause the game to end earlier at around 7 hours. As many endings and at the end of the playthrough, players will be given different collectible cards that depict the fate of each character. Once the player completes the first playthrough of the game, it will unlock Death Reward, which allows them to undo 3 character deaths in each subsequent playthrough. However, if you did pre-order the deluxe edition of this game, you'll have the Death Rewind for the first playthrough. 9 teenagers are formed with an all-star cast led by David Arquette. Query comes out on June 10th on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S and X. Next game coming out is more of a remastered, but it's a classic, so we're gonna go ahead and count them. Ever since the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie came out, I've been feeling super nostalgic and wanting to play Sonic, but didn't really have a way to play. Now I do. Sonic Origins is an upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog video game compilation by Sega. It features remasters of the first four platinum games in the Sonic series originally released for the Sega Genesis and the Sega CD. Games featured are Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic CD, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. The games are playable in their original format in a new widescreen format that removes lives. The games are playable in the original format and have a new widescreen format that removes lives. Origins adds additional game modes and missions which allow players to unlock content in an in-game museum. Origin also features two versions of each game, classic mode 
in the original format presented in 4x3, while Anniversary Mode features support for widescreen displays, removes lives, and allows Sonic to use the drop dash from Sonic Mania. A Story Mode allows players to play the four games in a sequence as Sonic. With new animated cutscenes that bridge their stories, new modes includes a boss rush mode, a mirror mode that reverses the level's layouts, and a mission mode that challenges players to complete specific objectives. Sonic Origins is set to release on June 23rd to the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, and the Nintendo Switch. I was looking through some old PlayStation 2 games the other day and found this old gym and wondered what happened to this series? Well, my question has been answered because on June 28th, we are getting the seventh installment of the MX vs. ATV series. MX vs. ATV Legends is the latest installment within the MX vs. ATV off-road racing universe. Releasing four years after its predecessor, this game is being talked about as being one of the best of the series. In this game, you get to experience the brand new trails mode for the high intensity outdoor racing. Each turn can present new surprises, challenging your drive style in new ways. You also endure dynamic weather like rain and snow, which adds a new dynamic to chasing the podium. Also new in the game that you get to compete in the new career mode where your choices lead to different paths, sponsorship opportunities, and special invitational invites. MX vs ATV Legends is set to release on June 28th for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S and X. Last game of the month is, well, a puzzle of a game. No, for real, the game is about puzzles and escape rooms. Also coming out on June 28th is a game called Escape Academy. Escape Academy by Coin Crew Games is a narrative puzzle game permitted to look and feel like a real life escape room. Here start by entering a mock-up of a low budget broken down escape room, solving a few simple and obvious puzzles before realizing the entire room is a front for something more magical. Stepping through a Narnia-esque portal, players are transported to an academy for escape room lovers where they will be trained to become a master in the escaping arts. You play as an escape room enthusiast invited to a secretive academy where students can train to become the best escapist. The cool setting of Escape Academy helps allow for the combination of short form and long form story. Each level is one class and one escape room, allowing for easy incremental and thematic process. People at Coin Crew Games actually worked on real in-person escape rooms and during a bout of pandemic induced cabin fever, went looking for games that recreated this experience. The aesthetic and conceit of Escape Academy are not only the game's successes, the developer has put such care into the puzzle designs that each level feels interesting and challenging while still approachable. If you love escape rooms, this might be the game for you, so make sure you pick this game up if you have a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, or Xbox Series S and X. Let us know if we missed any games down below, and make sure to check us out on all of our social medias and our website at GamersOutPostLLC.com. Everything is going to be linked down below. Until next time, guys, I am Ruben. Take care, and we'll see you then.